Information architecture. Formal definitions of information architecture include the structural design of shared information environments, the combination of organizing, labeling, search, and navigation systems within websites and intranets, the art and science of shaping information products and experiences to support user experience, an emerging discipline and community of practice focused on bringing principles of graphic design and architecture to the digital landscape. It starts with the content, information, the user who is going to use the information and the owner who is going to profit from the utilisation of the information. Information architecture is different to data and knowledge management. Data is facts and figures. Knowledge is the data, experiences and understanding in people's heads. Information is meaningful data within some context describing knowledge, structuring, organising and labelling. It's what information architects do best. Structuring involves determining the appropriate sizes of information chunks in your site and deciding how to relate them to one another. Organising involves grouping those components into meaningful and distinctive categories. Labelling means figuring out what to call those categories and creating the navigation links that lead to them. Finding and managing. Findability is a critical success factor for overall usability. If users can't find what they need through some combination of browsing, searching and asking, then the site fails. But user-centred design isn't enough. IA must balance the need of the users with the goals of the business. Disciplines such as psychology, usability engineering and ethnography are helping to bring the rigour of the scientific method to the analysis of users' needs and information-seeking behaviours. We're increasingly able to study patterns of usage and subsequently make improvements to our website. However, IA is not an exact science. In practice, IA cannot be reduced to numbers. There's too much ambiguity and complexity. Information architects must rely on experience, intuition and creativity. We must be willing to take risks and trust our intuition. This is the art of information architecture. Mapping the boundaries of IA is not easy, but some things are clearly not information architecture. Graphic design is not information architecture. Software development is not information architecture. Usability engineering is not information architecture. Strategies have been proposed to implement IA. One of them, the Elements of User Experience by J.J. Garrett, has widely influenced web design practices. Taking into consideration those approaches, we propose an implementation plan of four stages to use an IA in practice. Investigation stage, identification of data, user and owner, as well as understanding their aims, expectations, objectives and needs. Specification stage, gathering and formulating features and their functional specifications as well as information requirements. Prototyping stage. Providing structure and layout to the site and implementing relationships to enable flow of information to the satisfaction of user and owners. Visualization and QA stage. Bringing the information and the features together as well as their functionality in a testable platform so owners and users can evaluate the design.